Still freaking work. <laughs> Shows up and it doesn't work. Yeah. Not, not horrible. No. <laughs> that's that's dead, man. Yeah. So that's my thing is like when people try to like get like super technical with it. Mm -hmm. I think that's when it gets too hard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if it's in the kill zone, like, you shouldn't sweat it too much because then yeah. when you go to shoot something, you're stressing too much and then you really mess up. I agree 100% with you. I mean, my shot, my opinion on this is, is I normally go for the double lung yeah. rather than the heart yeah. just because there's so much more room for error. Yeah. And as a bow hunter, always on the safer side. Oh, yeah. Anything can happen. Yeah, anything. And when you got, like, a, you know, a bigger target... When you're yeah. trying to do that, hundred percent. So now we shoot a broadhead and give that a go. Just hold on. Okay. Take your time. Smoked him, dude. You flipping smoked him. Tell us what happened, Mackenzie. Well, I just got the 50 on this big white spring bike that I missed the first day, and I drew back on him, and my stabilizer went like this. So Donnie had to like get it to where it was like uh, it was like at least hanging out like this, so it wouldn't hit the string. Cause now it's you know. At least got an arrow in him. It looked like a good one. Yeah. Donnie I says it was. I, th everywhere, so. I think you you, sh you shot him really really well and uh, I'm very happy you didn't shoot because it would have I don't know what have, what would have happened. <laughs> that would have been bad. Well done man. Thanks dude. Congrats. Here's about right here, eh? Yeah, I think so. So guys, there's the line we had for this this specific animal. Um, but uh yeah, with the recent rain and everything, um, yeah, that didn't work. So we were we were left with spot and stalk only. So we just found Kenzie's wow. arrow. Um, <laughs> how's the arrow looking, dude? Pretty bloody. Good. Perfect, dude. Then oh, just slide chain and everything all. Sorry, we just smoked the big white glass. Got the back oh, video as well. Right by the road, dude. <laughs> yeah. Doing a little live story here. Donnie's doing some filming. We got a big white spring buck down. Um, even with the loose stabilizer and all, we got a, a big white spring buck down. Congrats, man. Thanks, <laughs> well done. Hell of a shot. Thank you. Man, right and a monster white ram. I mean, flipping hell, dude. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Giant. This is <laughs> as big as they get. Honestly, well done, Mackenzie. We might have to run back to camp to freaking yeah. fix this fucking No, we will. <laughs> but we're only starting for the day, so I hope yeah. you're ready. Pick up its, its head then. Yeah. Sit there behind him. I just want to put your bow there. Look all the blood we, where, when 
freaking another piece of bone. Yeah. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that blood. Yeah. See that. Well done, man. Cool. Ready? Yeah. Show, show him to us. Monster white springbuck with a bow. Kind of wide. Yeah, he's very wide. This one's kind of bruned down. Cool. Look at the look at the character on his basis, man. He's he's a really really nice ram. That is big, beautiful. White springbuck are pretty. Can I have to clean them up a little bit for the photos? Yeah, that's normally <laughs> the problem with the white animals, they man. They don't uh, necessarily hide the blood too well, but this is a beautiful beautiful white springbuck here. Uh, 50 yard shot made up for my shot on the black one and made up for my shot on the golden wildebeest so uh, Now we're starting things off, right? We got a, a big white springbuck down with a wide wide flare on top and uh, It's just the start of the, the mid-morning here sitting the blind didn't pan off, but uh doing some spot and stock did so let's uh, we'll get some photos of him get back to camp fix the stabilizer and then get back out here and see what we can find It's a beautiful beautiful white springbuck Congrats, dude. Thanks, dude. All right, guys, so here we are, white spring buck down. I actually missed this buck the first day at like 40, 45 yards. Um, today we got in on him, and I was able to put a 50-yard shot, and he went 25 yards, 30 yards, and was down. Um, the grizzly stick arrow just punched right through him, perfect shot. Um, made up for my bad shot on the black spring buck, made up for my bad shot on the golden wildebeest, and now we got a, a beautiful, big white spring buck down here in South Africa with African bow hunting adventures. Um, been, been rough going sitting in the blind. We've only had luck when we try to do spot and stock. So we're going to take him back to the camp, fix my stabilizer because it fell down when I drew back on him the first time. Um, and so we're going to go get that all fixed, take him back to camp, and then we'll head back out and try to do some more spot and stock and see what else we can get the rest of the day. Uh, this is a big, beautiful spring buck. I actually just need the copper to finish my slam, but we're going to try to do a copper and a common while we're here to do a slam with the bow and one safari. Um, this is a beautiful old white spring buck. He's got some worn down tips. He's super wide at the top and I'm really excited for him. I can't wait to see what we can do this afternoon. Okay. All right, so I just got a second arrow in on the big golden water beast. The first one we got into the- I know, start over. Sorry. Yeah, golden chem spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was big, man. I get that. Don't worry. Right. <laughs> it's okay. All right. All right, so I just got a second arrow on a golden gems buck. Um, the first shot, we got in to 30 yards on him, and I shot, but I hit a kind of one of these thicker bushes like this behind the branch, and it sent it an angle, and I see the little arrow almost turned completely sideways, and it still hit him as he was bedded, and then we just got back on him at 55 yards. and I made sure I was on, you know, get another arrow in him. Donnie says he's seen it sticking out the other side, and so we'll see if we can see where he went. Um, that was a better shot than the first one. He just hit that branch and it deflected it. Chopped the branch in half though, pretty good. Uh, these grizzly stick arrows do some work on branches. Um, so we're gonna see if he did some work on that second one on that golden uh, Gibbons book. Well done, man. I guess it's work. <laughs> you can say that as well. Yeah. Good. All right, guys, so here we are with the beautiful golden gems buck. Um, we got into 30 yards on him. I uh, drew back, he's bedded. When I shot, I actually ended up hitting a branch just above the ground right in front of him, and it actually kicked the arrow back right in front of the back lake here, but it actually exited right here, then that far behind the crease. Um, he ran a short distance, bedded down again. We got back on him, um, and before I get another shot, he got up and took off. He didn't really get up and run, he just got up and moved off got behind some trees we worked our way back around and he gave me a 55 yard shot and I actually hit him a little higher than I wanted to um, I don't know if my arrow dropped enough because I didn't suggest my thing I just put my food down on top and so he ended up going a little bit further and he just we could see blood we just couldn't tell what was happening um, so I ended up actually taking him uh, shooting him one time with the rifle just to end it all and we got over here and we're both you know we're like we could have let him sit for a while but we didn't want to risk losing him you can see this color I mean look at the color of this thing it's if it lays down out here anywhere, this is pure blending in with the scenery. Um, it blends in with the seal grass, and he wasn't bleeding a whole lot to track him. Um, so it would have been pretty difficult if we would have backed off and he would have got up and left. So we just wanted to make quick work of it. Um, these two arrows are that far apart, and they're both within 
that far behind the shoulder. So it just goes to show you how tough these uh, animals are here in Africa. And uh, everything here is tough. Not even, it doesn't matter about the big stuff. Even the little stuff is tough. They just got a will to live. And so I'm super excited with this beautiful golden gems buck. And uh, he has a nice shape to me, flares out at the top really wide. And I'm super thankful. And uh, it's a great day here at Africa Bowhunt Adventures. We got a uh, white spring butt this morning with a great one shot. And then we end up getting this beautiful golden gems buck this afternoon. And uh, got a little bit of time left. So we'll get taken care of him. And then we'll kind of maybe play around a little bit and see what's up. So uh, it's a great day here in Africa. No bad days on safari. Good day, eh? We just stalked in on a massive, massive sable bull, uh, 55 yards. We tried to get on a few times. We literally just got drenched, like soaking wet in, a sh in a, like a brief couple of minutes. The blue sky's already out. It's crazy. We just got soaking wet. Stalked in 55 yards. He was with some roan, um, and he kept, they kept feeding in with each other. And I didn't want to risk the shot, and I finally was able to get one of a slight quarter and away. Um, I thought I hit him a little far back. Donnie thinks it was good and broke the opposite side shoulder. Um, that's what happens when you're shooting these 650 grain grizzly stick arrows with 200 grain broadheads it it packs a punch um they're lethal and me and they're they do business so um we're gonna give them a few minutes probably and then try to see what happened we just heard a big crash we don't know if he went down that was exciting that happened quick um as you can hear it's thundering like it like early rains are here and it's, we got soaking wet so we'll give him a few minutes and we'll see what happened i think that was a I'm glad Donnie thinks it was a better shot. I thought it was a little bit back, but it, the angle might be really good. So, cool. All right, so we we're trying to find blood. The quarter and away shot wasn't gonna produce a lot because it didn't pass through because it hit that opposite shoulder. But we've also been watching for the buffalo and we actually found the group of buffalo. They're just right through there. Can um, get them? Um. Not too far yeah. away. Yeah, so those buffalo are close and we were worried because we were getting the stick stuff and as we were walking I look up and I see this black thing landing and I was like, Donnie, there he is and there's a grizzly stick arrow clutch that's sticking out. Congrats, man. Thanks, dude. That looks sweet. Cool. Man, he did not go. How far do you think he went? 100 yards? Not 100 yards and for a sable that's, that's insane because normally they are incredibly tough, man. No, you, you smoked them and that arrow did a very, very good job. Yeah. Wow. Well done. Thanks, dude. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. That's crazy. Yeah, that arrow. <clears throat> That's crazy. Yeah, that big crash that we heard was him. Definitely. Freaking out smack dab into this tree. Well done, dude. Thanks, man.
right guys this is the last full day that i have here in south africa with africa bowling adventures um we've been a little bad about doing stuff like this like getting stuff on camera before the stock but it's happened so quick so today we're taking a little time and properly doing this the right way we're in search of a big big roan that's in this block here um it's early in the morning it's actually kind of brisk you probably see my breath a little bit um so we're gonna look for this roan and then find them put a stock on them because sitting in the blind has not worked for us at all this entire trip um yesterday it rained so there's moisture in the grass there's little puddles everywhere um and then the green grass is already starting to grow so they don't come in for feed or water so we're just kind of having to drive around and do some spot and stock so we're gonna try to locate this roan and uh see if we can get in on him big roan spotted he's just up here he's in a nice kind of thick area so we're gonna try to stalk into this big tree and see if we can get in within 50 yards uh, we shot the sable at 55 yesterday shot a white spring buck at 50 those are my best shots so 50 is good for us so let's go We just, uh, just got an arrow on that big round, 30 yard shot. Um, I actually shot a little behind where I should have shot because um, I was thinking America style right behind the shoulder for a second. And at that range, you want to just punch them right through the shoulder because that's right where the vitals are on all these Africa species is a little far forward. So keep that in mind next time you're in Africa. Um, don't do what I did. I put it perfect behind the crease in my eyes. And then I realized, yeah, we probably should have put that on the shoulder. Um, looked like a good hit regardless. And so we're going to give them a little bit of time to look for the arrow and then hopefully we got a big round down. This thing's giant, it's got a cool shape to him, cool curve, and uh, I'm super pumped. Okay, he's standing right here in the shade. That is back right now. Okay. You wanna just send one? That'll be cool. Suksin suk Zulu Zulu Hey buddy Hey my boy Congrats man <laughs> Get you Knuckles <laughs> There we go Boom Hey, what's up guys? Today is my last full day here in South Africa with Africa Bow Honey Adventures. And we are very, very fortunate to take this monster, monster roan. Um, we stalked him for a little bit. He actually ended up busting us and then we got back on him, got into 30 yards and I put it right behind the crease. Um, I should have put it a little farther forward, but he still, he only went 100, 110 yards in a kind of a big half circle that he did um, with the grizzly stick arrow, went punched right through him at 30 yards. 
uh, this should be the new number one roan with a bow. Um, he's absolutely outstanding, not in the length of him, but also in the curvature of his horns. He has like a sable kind of look to him, how they come back and curve way down, which is really unique and really cool. Um, this is my first roan, and this actually completes my Africa 29. Um, I'm very, very pleased to be able to complete the 29 with such an enormous specimen here. Um, can't thank Donnie enough. Him and his crew have put on a hell of a show, and it's been a great, great week. We capitalized on a monster sable yesterday uh, started the week off a little rough with some shooting on some spring buck and the, the golden wildebeest but the last two finished it off perfectly two great shots um, the girly sticks performed phenomenally we actually can't even find my arrow that I shot this one with yet I think we're gonna look for it a little bit more but uh, I'm super pumped with this beautiful roan like I said he's probably gonna be the new number one with the bow and very high overall he's a super super pretty animal and uh, he'll look great life-size by monarch taxonomy all right guys, this is the end of a five and a half day safari here in South Africa with Africa Bow Hunting Adventures. Um, we had a great time. We capitalized on two awesome spring buck, a black spring buck, a white spring buck, uh, a nice golden gibbons buck, a beautiful big golden wildebeest, an absolute stunning, stunning sable, 48 inch sable bull, and then a magnificent roan, um, just a true giant roan with probably a shape that you won't see for a long time. It's been a great trip. Uh, this is the final results of five and a half days of hunting flew by super quick um, and we even struggled a little bit too like we still had a few animals we were after it's just as you can see everything's getting green here um, they're not coming to feed and it's been raining while we're here and so they're not coming to water so we resorted to a lot of driving around spot and stalking and so it cut you know made things a little bit challenging but uh, overall a great safari a fantastic time and it just gives me a reason to come back so uh, looking forward to next year we got some great safaris planned and uh, yeah guys, this is the end result of a great, great trip here, uh, Africa Bowen Adventures.